In order to get your planted tank looking nice, lush, and green, there are three things you need to have. Good lighting, good to high temperature, and also CO2. And I'm going to show you guys how to build a CO2 unit for your aquarium at minimal cost. To build a CO2 unit, you need an empty juice container, like the one shown, a rubber stopper that will be the right size to fit in the juice container, and an optional adapter, a check valve, and some aquarium tubing. The rubber stopper can be purchased at a hardware store, the juice container from a grocery store, the rest of the items from an aquarium store. You need to make sure that the drill bit is the right size. You don't want it a little too big. If it's a little too small, you could at least squeeze it in there and have a very tight seal to make sure no CO2 escapes. You're going to want to make sure that the rubber stopper is fastened securely in the drill and that the drill bit is positioned accordingly into the drill press. And you also want to get the drill bit secured in the drill press. You need to adjust the height of the drill press to make sure that the drill bit is not going to affect it. And make sure you have the rubber stopper lined up perfectly centered, even though it may not need to be perfectly centered because it, for its purpose, but if you're a perfectionist like I am, you want it perfectly centered. And then you can start with the drilling. Look at it go. And then you check to make sure the drill went all the way through so you can see a hole completely through to make sure that air can actually pass through the stopper. Then you can take the optional adapter or check valve and make sure it fits in nice and snug. Next, you're going to take the check valve and you want to make sure you have it to where the air is actually going out through the rubber stopper and towards the aquarium. You can blow through and whichever way passes can help ensure you if you are uncertain. And then you can affix it directly to the rubber stopper or if you have that adapter to connect it to the rubber stopper, you could connect it to a tubing then to the check valve and then more tubing and then into the aquarium and you're going to make one side a little diagonal and the other side flat. The flat side is going to go into the check valve. You're going to have the diagonal version leading towards the aquarium. And as you can see we have the air will travel through the stopper, through the check valve, and all the way through the tubing until it reaches the other end and that's where it can start taking its purpose and letting the CO2 dissolve in the water. Now you're going to make sure you get a piece of paper that's folded in half, then you're going to unfold it, and what you're going to do is simply pour some sugar until the piece of paper can no longer hold any more sugar and you have a nice pile going in there. Some people like to have exact measurements but you can easily eye it. You're not going to worry about killing the fish or anything. I mean I've never had a problem. But if you are afraid of that you could find a good proportion that suits your tank based on its size and everything. And you can sprinkle just a little bit of yeast. Too much will let the CO2 come out too fast and let it uh, not last too long, too little. You may not even see any CO2 come out. Then you're going to take the paper and you're going to pour it into the empty juice container. and then you can see the sugar at the bottom of the juice container.
Now that you're ready to fill the water, you can go and start pouring water into the container. If you put too cold of water, it will take a while to warm up to room temperature and activate the yeast. If you put water that is too hot, what will happen is you might be able to kill the yeast. So what I'd like to do is make sure the water is lukewarm as it pushes in to help give them a good fast metabolism without killing them. And then you're going to want to pour the water close to the rim but not touching the rim because you're going to have to force the stopper in there. And right there is a good height as you can see for the water. Now you can connect the rubber stopper to the juice bottle and then you can have the aquarium tubing leading towards the aquarium. Now you can connect the aquarium into the filter which I will show you in a moment and you're going to connect a rubber stopper onto the juice bottle with all the yeast and water in there and you're going to position it under the tank. And you can have the tube going up behind the tank you can let it go in through the top and I have it riding along the nozzle and then around the suction cup which is hidden right there behind the heater and then down wedged into the intake of the filter. Well hopefully this helps you guys with how to build a simple CO2 unit for your aquarium and you will save yourself lots of money in the construction versus purchasing one at the store and with the ingredients and you don't need to use any costly CO2 reactor to let the CO2 dissolve. Just let the filter dissolve the CO2 for you. It's more efficient as well. I hope you enjoyed this video.